that you can avoid this. But if you choose to be ungodly, that day will catch you unaware. But you must not forget this one thing, dear friends. A day is like a thousand years to the Lord, and a thousand years is like a day. The Lord isn't really being slow about his promise to return, as some people think. No, he's being patient for your sake. He does not want anyone to perish, so he's giving more time for everyone to repent. But the day of the Lord will come as unexpectedly as a thief. Then the heavens will pass away with a terrible noise, and the very elements themselves will be melted by fire. And the earth and everything in it will be exposed to judgment. Since everything around us is going to be destroyed like this, what holy, godly lives you should be living. Looking forward to that day and hurrying it along. On that day, he will set the heavens on fire and the elements will melt away in the flames. But we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth that God promised, a world where everyone is right with God. And so, dear friends, while you're waiting for these things to happen, make every effort to be found living peaceful lives that are pure and blameless in his sight. And remember, the Lord is waiting so people have time to be saved. And remember, the Lord is waiting so people have time to be saved. If there's one thing I hate, it's people giving you information that there's nothing you can do with it. Well, you know these nations are aligning right now. Well, so what do you do? Say, well, yeah, the Bible says that. No, the Bible says, number one, knowing that, what holy, godly lives you should be living. When you see all these nations lining up, if you see the nearness to the battle of Armageddon, if you can see the nations gearing up for Armageddon that happens at the end of the tribulation, how much closer is the rapture? The Bible says knowing that, it should motivate you to be living a holy, godly life. That Jesus is coming soon and I'm going to be ready to meet him. The second thing it should do, he, knowing that the Lord is waiting so people have time to be saved. Think about it. Just like Russia is making the decision to align itself negatively with Bible prophecy. You can make a decision. I'm going to align myself positively with Bible prophecy. If the reason Christ hasn't called us home yet is he wants people to be saved, then I'm going to throw the totality of my being into the salvation of lost men. Just off camera is sitting uh, Nick that works here. Upstairs in the media room. Those guys are talented. They could be working on all kinds of things. They could get a job in Hollywood. They could make entertainment. They're using what they do to get the gospel out so people can be saved. Everything I'm doing revolves around people being saved. So the Lord gives us a building that we'd have to raise money for for 40 years. Drops it in our lap. Money comes from all over the place. Because I've decided, rather than try to ask God to help me bring my dreams to pass, I'm going to give my life to causing God's dream to come to pass. That those that have never received Christ can hear the gospel and be saved. What about you? This is very soon. This is happening. You know, Lester Summerall preaching that in the early 90s had to say, this is going to happen sometime in the future. Keep an eye on it. Well, not now. Jonathan preaching it now doesn't say this is going to happen sometime in the future. It is happening right now. Are you ready to meet the Lord when he comes? If you're not ready... I want you to get ready now. If you're watching the replay, if you're listening by podcast, I want you to pray this with me. If you've never given your life to Jesus Christ, or you once did and you fell away, say this with me out loud. Heavenly Father, I admit that I've sinned. I repent. I believe in my heart. You raised Jesus from the dead. I confess with my mouth, Jesus is Lord and my Savior. Right now, I receive forgiveness for sin. By the blood of Jesus, I am saved. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, welcome to the family of God. 